Okay, um, for examples one, two, and three, we're going to use this technique for solving the system of equations using substitution. We want to take one of, the one of the two equations that they give us and solve for one of the variables. And the key to this step is we're looking for a coefficient of 1. Just x or just y is your best friend in these problems. If you have 5x or 2y or 7y, it's more difficult. So <clears throat> coefficient of 1 is your best friend. Negative 1 is your second best friend. Okay, anything else is not going to be friendly. Every problem is going to have at least one term that has either 1x or 1y ready to go. Uh, we'll be able to do that very easily. Once you get that done, you're going to either have for that equation x equals a bunch of stuff or y equals a bunch of stuff. All right. Use the solution, which is the bunch of stuff, to substitute that variable out of the other equation. So if I went to the top equation to get x equals, I'm going to take x out of the bottom equation and replace it with all the stuff x equals. That's usually more than one term, so use parentheses around that substitution. If you do this correctly, steps one and two correctly, you'll be left with an equation that has only x or only y in it. Solve for that variable, whatever variable it is, either x or y. You're going to get x equals some number or y equals some number. Whatever that number is, that's the solution. Substitute that value out and into, the, into one of the equations that contain both the variables. It doesn't matter which one you go back to. I'll recommend the one to go back to when we actually do the problems. But um, you can go back to any equation in the problem, and you'll be able to get the other answer. Um, once you get the other answer figured out, both x and y, write the answer as an ordered pair x first, y second. So let's take a look at example one. Use substitution to solve x minus 2y equals negative 1, 2x minus 3y equals 4. What I'm looking for again in step 1 is that right there, 1x. Everything else, 2y, 2x, and 3y, I don't like them. Okay, 1x is my best friend. It makes it easiest. And all i got to do to make this say x equals is take the negative 2y and throw it to the other side. If I do that one step, x is staying on the left, equals is staying right where it's at, 2y becomes positive, negative 1 staying where it's at. And just like that, I have x equals everything else. That's all step one is if you have a coefficient one. You simply have to rearrange things so that the single variable object all by itself. The reason the number in front of x will be bad, because if there's a number in front of x, I've got to divide, right? All of a sudden, i got all this stuff over a number. Now, all of a sudden, i got this ugly fraction i got to substitute in. That's a little bit more difficult. So step one, done. Step two. I got this information from which equation? The top, the top equation. So I'm going to go to the bottom equation, and I'm going to replace this x with this expression because x equals that expression. That's the substitution step. That's what's going to give me the ability to get the answer to this problem. So the bottom equation says exactly 2x minus 3y equals 4. It's going to continue to say that, but instead of writing 2x, I'm going to write 2 times 2y minus 1 minus 3y equals 4. That's the substitution step. Okay, the bottom equation has 2x minus 3y equals 4. 2x minus 3y equals 4. And again, instead of writing x, I'm writing the equivalent of x, which is 2y minus 1. And the usefulness of that is that I went from two variables and infinity solutions, every point on the lines of a solution, to one variable, one solution, the one I'm looking for. Once I've done that, notice I did replace x one thing with 2y minus 1 two things. I put parentheses around my substitution. A distributive property is required. I get 4y minus 2 minus 3y is equal to 4. I'm going to solve this equation using basic algebra. I'm going to move the 2 over to the right. Minus 2 moves across to the plus 2. 4y minus 3y makes 1y. 4 plus 2 makes 6. So we just figured out what y equals, which is 6. The next task is to find out what x equals. Okay? Now, what I said in step 5, or is it 4? Four, 4. Use that solution to substitute that variable out of any equation containing both variables. So take a look at our problem here. I'm going to erase these marks. This equation has both variables. This equation has both variables. This equation has both variables. Any one of those places will get you what you're looking for. Which one's the best one to go to? Red, X blue, or black? Red, red, blue, or green, and black. Which one? Uh, the black. 
the black one, right? X equals, right? All I want to do is figure out what X equals, and notice if I take the black equation, X equals 2Y minus 1, we know Y is equal to 6, so instead of Y, I put 6. All I have to do to get the answer here is evaluate an expression. So I'm going to get X equals 12 minus 1, which of course equals 11. But going back to the red equation, X we don't know yet, minus 2 times Y, which is 6, equals negative 1. That gets me x minus 12 equals negative 1, move the 12 over, negative 1 plus 12 equals 11. If I'd gone back to the green equation, 2x, which I don't know yet, minus 3y, which is 6, is supposed to equal 4. That gets me 2x minus 18 equals 4, move 18 over becomes plus 18, 2x equals 22, divide by 2x equals 11. That's algebra, that's algebra, this is arithmetic. So if you go back to the place where you got x equals or y equals and substitute your answer in, you're simply going to have to do a little arithmetic. If you go back to the original problem, you have to do a little bit of algebra. I don't mind algebra personally, but if I have a choice, I'd prefer to do arithmetic. So just saying, go back here with your substitution from the correct answer, and you're going to find yourself in better shape. But again, go back any place that has both variables, you get the right answer, 11, 11, 11. It's the same answer all the way through, so take your pick which one you like best.